For the last 14 years, communities around the globe have celebrated World Refugee Day. Today, downtown Boise took part in the festivities with handmade items, live music, and performances. On your sites, Karen Lair was there and joins us live in studio with the story. Timmy, hundreds of people stopped by the Grove to watch those performances, but it was more than just music for some people. Eleven people from seven different countries came as refugees and left as U.S. citizens. Here's a look at today's celebrations. It started in the camps in Africa and it's been celebrated as a United Nations initiative since 2001. And Boise has been doing something for World Refugee Day ever since. It's very interesting for me. I didn't know that the Boise community is celebrating the Refugee Day, but I'm really thankful for that and I'm happy. It's a great opportunity for uh, our newer refugees to share their cultures and traditions. We've got people singing, reading poetry, dancing and uh, selling food and crafts and things they brought from home or things they've made here. The United States welcomed 70,000 refugees last year and of those some 13 to 1500 are welcome to Boise. I came here in 2007. Um, we're known as a welcoming community, Boise and Twin Falls, so we're a really great place for resettlement. Boise has opened its hearts and homes to refugees from all over the world. I'm from Somalia. Do you plan to stay in Boise? Yeah, it's my final destination. There is a very beautiful, good people. And they like the new people, the refugees. And they just show me that I am a human being like them. Last year we settled from 19 different countries, and those are as far and different as Burma, Bhutan, Somalia, Congo, Iraq, Afghanistan. And I experienced a lot of things, but what I get in here is amazing. They're getting jobs, they're enrolling their kids in school. It's very different to be here and get those opportunities. I'm working and going to school. I walked over there, then I get a job in Whole Food Market. So these 11 people, they came here today as refugees. They left as American citizens. They've all worked for at least five years to become citizens. Yes, they're waiting a long time. They're all so excited to become new Americans. Africa was so, it was not easy, and right now it's so, now because I've been an American, it, it makes me very happy. It's such a great day. I mean, we have people here that have been working with refugees for years and years and years, have devoted their lives to it. And then I met people that were wandering by on their way to the market and stopped uh, by this, you know, exciting, colorful, cultural display, and they were curious, and, and now I think they're captivated. For more information on refugees in Idaho or details on how you can get involved, you can find a link on IdahoOnYourSide.com. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair. Today, 6 on your side.